All right, hello Divine Feminines. I am going to do a little reading here. It's going to be short. I just got back from visiting Mother Mary's Ascension Retreat in Marseille. Um, picking up more Divine Feminine. Yes. That is the symbol of the Divine Feminine, the bee. Picking up more um, Divine Feminine wisdom. So that has been a, <laughs> you just can't make it up. It has been an amazing experience for me, but my physical body is um, going through a lot of ascension symptoms. So, trying to rest a lot. So let's get into it, see what Divine Masculine has to say here. Ten of Wands. Feel a very heavy energy from Divine Masculine. Devil reversed. Ace of Cups. The Fool reversed. Nine of Cups. I am getting Nine of Cups energy a lot. Look, the universe came out again for us. Four of Swords, Queen of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and then the Page of Cups. Temperance and Three of Swords. Ten of Swords and the Lots of Swords here. A um, matched pair of the Swords here. So we have matched pair of the cups, matched pair of the swords. We have two tens and the one and the zero and a nine. So yes, I feel strongly the breaking down of old paradigms here the um, structures around the heart are, they're using the word decomposing. I never expected to feel this way about you. I'm coming back soon. There is a return here. One of my favorite cards in the tarot has become the Eight of Cups. Readers don't like that card, um, but it's an important card. Not only is it the infinity symbol, the journey that we constantly take to remember who we are spiritually, it also leads to the Nine of Cups, which is the loving of the self the union of masculine and feminine. I'm so tired of sabotaging this connection. So the recognition of fear that keeps stopping him, struggling with money, which always means self-worth to me, and I'm so grateful for you. The recognition of gratitude in manifesting, okay? So the whale, the bee, the unicorn, the octopus, very much symbols to me. Sorry, that's what happens when I get the important downloads. Um, symbols of, oh, they're telling me that's, they're telling me that's cute, that's cute. That there's, there's water, air, water, earth. Um, ether, fire. There's symbols of all of them here. I've never felt a love like this before. That this love transcends all the elements, all the lives. Silence is killing me. I send you telepathic messages. I don't want this to be over. I have a plan, but you have to trust me. I've got a tarot reading on you. Okay, so 
They're saying you recently did something with your energy. Fool's gold. Um, they're saying you did something with your energy recently. You made a decision to end your own suffering somehow. That means you put yourself first and you decided on your own to take an action that honored your own energy. This could be anything. So again, we see here the Four of Pentacles is very much the structure around the heart space. I don't know if I said that before or after this came out, but this blackbird is important here. It's very much a message I feel from spirit about Sorry, it's coming. It's about how we really break our own hearts by what we choose to believe is true about ourselves. Um, that is actually false, okay? Magician vibes. I'm curious about what you're doing. Pisces energy. This is intense. So we have Neptune at play here, mastermind. You're too beautiful. <laughs> Magician. Ether, right? Spirit. That's what I just referenced with the unicorn. The rat. The law of gestation. Deeper into shadow. Like attracts like. And Isis energy. The goddess brings sacred knowledge, unlimited healing, and soul reclamation. The alchemist, the quantum process of turning ether, spirit, into matter, physical. By mastering our thoughts, we control what we create. And I also should add that that should include feelings. Thus, we have all of it, right? The sphere. So, they're big on that. They're really highlighting that element here that we recognize the importance of the interconnection between our spirit our thoughts our feelings and our actions and the web that that all makes up together um you can have a lot of growth just in that they're showing me it looking like a palm tree, um, but it's a toroidal field. A lot of growth in that recognizing each point of, of that. Oh, they're bringing me a new word. Okay. Um, pentatoroidal field. Interesting. I have to look that up because I've never heard that before. Um, not sure what that means, but okay. So they want you to understand. It's important to you to understand that they're saying several things at one time, but my neck is really itching. Um, that they didn't mean to hurt you and hurting you hurt them and they didn't really understand what they were doing when they did it and it was almost like they had to take a piece of themselves out this is really dramatic and look at it in their hand it's almost like they had to take their heart out of their chest. They're saying, you know, that your name is written on their heart and you've known that for a long time and that they had to take their heart out of their chest to read it, to look at it, to see it and recognize that it was the truth. Um, and that doing that 
made them transform and change. And that as they returned their heart to them, their chest, they um, began to understand. So this card here says engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union, you know, the ring is sort of like a figure, right? Especially if we put this here on top of it and saying chemistry like each other equally having fun. So it has been their biggest indulgence to watch, look, stalk, perceive, focus on you. And, you know, that has become their sanctuary. And on the bottom, you really can't make it up they know they hurt their twin flame. So that's the message from them. It's a very, it was just 11, 11. Uh, spirit, it gives me chills. Thank you for this beautiful message. Um, I want to remind you of how beautiful you are and that you deserve the absolute best in this world. Give yourself the best every day honor yourself love yourself be striving to be your authentic self even if the world doesn't honor it yet keep bringing your energy to the world that so desperately needs it because you believe in yourself and you trust in your divine relationship with the universe. I love you very much. Bye for now.